Hey guys, this is David, and it's Two Minute Tuesday. And let's get started right now. I don't believe God uses pandemics to transition nations in the world from one era to another. I think he uses dreamers. Joseph was a dreamer, but he interpreted Pharaoh's dream, and Pharaoh's dream took a nation, actually took the world, from a pandemic, seven years of famine, into the next season. Daniel interpreted someone's dream, and it took that nation from one era to another. Because a pandemic can happen, but a dream can carry vision. A dream can show us what's about to happen. A dream carries the heart of God. And I believe dreams are like seeds that need to be flourished, that need to be planted, that need to be watered. What if the dream that God is putting in your heart is the dream that transitions the the world from this era to the next. Proverbs says it like this, hope deferred makes the heart sick, but a dream fulfilled is a tree of life. In Revelation chapter 22, it says, the tree of life has leaves and the leaves bring healing to the nations. What if your dream brings about the tree of life that brings healing to the nations? And I know a lot of times we look at the dreams that we've had prior to the pandemic and we're like, oh, there's no, there's no way I can focus on that. I gotta buckle down. I gotta do the, the secure thing. I gotta do the safe thing. What if God's really challenging you at this time to hold on to the dream he's giving you and see it come to pass? How do you want the dream God's putting you? I believe that dreams, again, are like seeds. If you think about a, a mother uh, who has a child who's expecting, the only way that child can grow is it takes and it feeds off of the mother's nutrients. It feeds off of the mother's life. And I believe the dream is like a child and it feeds off of the hope, off of the faith that's in our hearts. So number one, be full of faith and full of hope that what God has shown you is going to come to pass. Number two, dream. Start to see it in your mind because if you can see it in your mind, God can do more than that. Ephesians 3.20 Now unto him who is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all you can ask or think. That means if you can think it, God can do more than that. If you can see it in your mind, you're giving it place. You're giving faith a place to come into agreement with. You're saying, if I can see it here, God can do it. He can do better than that. So start to foster the dream that's in you. Don't say, I can't do it, it's impossible, because you're speaking death to it. And how can two walk together lest they be agreed? But it's time to agree with what God's showing you. Start to allow God to speak to you about that dream. Just maybe your nation or the nations of the world are waiting for your dream to come to pass. Guys, this is Two Minute Tuesday. I hope it bless you. I hope it encouraged you. If it has, leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. Until next time, talk to you later.